I'll email some more photos, says letter A. And letter B says the answer, okay, don't forget to. So it's, it isn't necessary to repeat this expression because we are talking about this. So it's not necessary to repeat. Just you stay it on to. Don't forget to. If I say this, so I'm referring to the previous action. Another. Can you and Mary come to lunch next Sunday? Oh, yes, we'd love to. We don't say we'd love to come because we already talk about this verb. Here, the same. So, don't forget, you stayed just in to, but remember, if you use this expression, you are referring to the previous activity. So, you refer to the previous activity. If you haven't uh, been speaking about this activity, so you can't use this. For example, you are not going to start saying, okay, don't forget to. Don't forget to what is going to say the other person. So the other person is, is not going to have any idea about what are you talking about. But if you refer to a previous activity, so you can stay on to. Here you have more uh, examples. For example, uh, examples for example. So, you have here more examples. You are going to underline all the examples that you can see. Like this. I am going to show you the answer of this. I didn't want my friends to post it. This is the action. And then you say, I asked them not to. Not to. Not to post it. Se quedaron en to. You can say, uh, use these expressions in affirmative or negative form. Here you have an example of negative. So I underline this. Okay? So, okay, don't forget to. Another expression. So you are going to underline all the ones that you find here. This is the reduced infinitive. The reduced infinitive. 